Hey guys, welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. I hope all is well with you guys again. I'm just back in dropping on some more energy just to keep you guys updated as to what's going on. Okay, just the energy. Okay, so thanks for joining me again. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, booking, and thank you for all of your herbal purchases. Okay, and um, I do have the candles going out. You guys know it's going to be a delay because tomorrow is MLK Day. Okay, so there's no postal offices going out, but everything that was placed over the last few days will be mailed out on Tuesday. Okay, thanks for everything. And um, I do have a special there going on on the community board. All right, and my candles there, all of my candles are $19.99. The ones that's there posted on the community board. Those are herbal protection candles, love, healing. All right, and just keeping you safe. All right. And keeping you strong in your divinity. All right. Those are the blessings I ask for those candles. OK, so um, I have some energy in here again, going through all my decks again. OK, poverty. Somebody is in poverty. Somebody is struggling. Something is over. It's like there could have been a job loss. Somebody could have got fired. All right. However, someone was making their living came to an end. OK, and I see the lover's card. All right. And I got to hear two separate energies here. All right. The lovers. So somebody's definitely in love. And this is also confirming the Ace of Cups. All right. This is the Ace of Cups. They really do love you. And somebody want to offer you this love. It's very emotional energy here. It's all about relationships. But divine is saying you need to use your intuition on the situation. All right. The lovers could also be two rows to choose from. All right. And this is the Ace of Swords. Look at this shit. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Some truth need to come out. Divine said this is the truth. Somebody could have two lovers. Not sure of who they want to give their heart to. All right. And also somebody really loved their children. So they could choose a lover that they have a child with. But somebody's saying somebody need to tell the truth about the situation. All right. And it's like a little boy. Somebody need to tell the truth about a little boy. A little boy might want to tell the truth about a situation. Some communication coming in. Maybe it's some adjustments. Maybe this little boy might have to go and live someplace else. It's a young boy here. All right. Somebody's looking for inspiration. And whatever happened or going with this little boy is going through. Divine see this energy. It's a spirit guide behind this little boy. So whatever they went through or going through, divine is here. Okay. And then right behind that shit here, I got the ace of wands. It's a little girl. So somebody's definitely going through situations in regards to children. All right. Divine is saying they see all. So if had something happened here with a little boy and little girls, divine see this shit here. All right. If somebody out here fucking with the kids, divine see this. OK, as you see, both of these kids, this little boy and girl, they got this guardian angel right behind them. All right. And it's some truth about this. All right. And I feel like this has something to do with sexuality because the ace of wands is sometimes a sexual energy about that wand. OK. And divine said this is high priestess. Somebody knows some shit about some children all right and divine say yes is i all right and that's the ace of swords so divine knows some shit that's been going on with children i don't know if somebody trying to make children into lovers okay i'm gonna leave that there now somebody is really really missing you really missing you and they in love with you but they has been pretending so much all right they could be cock blocking anything new you know doing spell work to try to keep you trapped to them keeping you confused about different lovers but divine said this person is hiding a pregnancy they they have someone that's pregnant but yet they in love with you here and divine saying fuck your feelings just like i said in the last video was somebody in love with you when they was out here making all these fucking babies with other motherfuckers? That's what Divine wanted to know. And Divine said, now, nah, you in love. Okay? Okay? You in love, but something hidden. And you know what's hidden? Right behind that is two of uh, pinnacles. That's somebody juggling. 
just stringing people along, knowing that they're not going to give you nothing because they got some other people pregnant. They got a family life. Look at this. Stringing you along, trying to block any of your happiness because they already got some situation going on they're stuck and trapped to. All right? And look at this card. Sticking out here again. Fuck your feelings. Stay with the shit that you got going on. Okay? That's your miserable fucking life. That's what Divine is saying. Yeah, and somebody could just be with somebody because they love their head. Somebody always having oral sex and giving, always getting head. Somebody love their head, somebody get them. Okay? That's what they like. Okay? And this is, you got boundaries here. All right? And you saving yourself for divine timing. You're just waiting on divine timing to see what's happening here. Because somebody right here, they is trapped. It could be a cry for help. This could be a feminine energy. Somebody could be getting domestically abused here. And somebody's always switching up on you themselves. Somebody could go back and forth. It could be the same sex. It could be you and somebody else. Somebody just keep on going back and forth. All right? But it's a lot of gossip going on in a situation right now. All right? So let's see what the T is. Because somebody keep juggling you. So let's clarify this juggling. All right, Holy Spirit, what's this juggling energy for the collective? Thank you. These cards that got thrown over here because they populating the planet with babies. Somebody out here making a whole lot of fucking babies. Somebody got a lot of damn babies. All right, yeah. And somebody's playing with fire here. Somebody is playing with fire. They out here making all these babies. And somebody, you know, feel like you got options too. So they pissed off that you could be juggling or thinking you dating multiple people because they tied down with people they keep getting pregnant. Mm. Interesting. Okay. The next energy, yeah. And divine is like people they trying to convince to be kinky and be freakish like they are. All right. They trying to convince people to do some of the threesomes, the orgies, the sex parties, and do all the fuck shit sex that they do. Feed into their fetishes. Okay. And they have conversations with people about this. They try to coerce people, convince people into their sexual world. Okay? And that's why they juggle people. Because they got somebody pregnant here, a family situation, but they got to go out and feed into their sexual addictions. Just like I said in the last video. Okay? Divine said there's something hidden with this person. So let's find out what's hidden. What's the T? What's hidden here, Holy Spirit? What's the energy of what's hidden? All right, that somebody is planning on taking a leap of faith with somebody. Somebody could have already did this. All right, and the truth was revealed that maybe somebody went on a vacation with somebody or promised somebody else some type of love. Yeah, it was revealed that maybe somebody want you and not who they're with. Okay, and somebody is a warrior of love. A lot of tattoos and shit going on here. All right. And yeah, they could be out meeting other people, meeting you, meeting the other person. Yeah. It's a cultural difference here. It could be a race, different race connection here, a biracial relationship. Okay. Yeah. That's what's hidden. They, they want you, but they with somebody else. All right. And they going on vacations. They meeting other people out. All right. Somebody could be meeting people of different origin, different race to date. All right. Yeah. And this is ignoring texts and calls because they're out with other people because they're juggling and they already got some type of connection. All right. They keep a lot of secrets here. It's a lot of lies going on here with a feminine energy and somebody just like the fast life. This person is not for you. And that's what divine is trying to tell you. So whoever keep holding on to this energy, divine keep telling you this person is not for you. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? All right, you will get married. And somebody want to know, will you marry them? Somebody could already be married here, or they see you as marriage material. Please clarify, will you marry me, Holy Spirit? Please clarify this energy. <laughs> the mind said, tell them, fuck you. All right, somebody got all this other shit going on. They still juggling. Somebody got a sexual addiction. Somebody is trying to coerce you into their fucked up bullshit. That's life. Even with marriage. They're going to try to throw the marriage shit at you. So the vine saying, you need to tell this person, fuck off. There's too much shit going on with this person. 
You need to tell them to fuck off, okay? Yeah, because they definitely want you back. They definitely want you back, all right? And they're going to come in here with that. But all they want is your benefits. They want friends with benefits. So that's why they're going to try to throw the marriage in there so they can throw you off and trap you, okay? Because they want to know where you are now, what you're up to, what you're doing. They could be looking for you right now, okay? But they up to fuck shit. They just trying to throw you off. Because Divine said, this is what's really going on right here. They got a bunch of babies. Yeah? So I'm like, oh, how are you taking care of their fucking babies, y'all? Okay? The next energy is, they're all about that life. They got babies everywhere, and they just about that life. They got multiple lovers, all right? And this is, they want somebody who's in this together. This is what they want you to be. But they're not going to tell you all these secrets until what? After you marry them, okay? They want somebody who make mature decisions because they don't. They don't. They want you to clean up. They fuck shit that they done got themselves in, okay? They do not make decisions, okay? Proper decisions. And you want to let this person go. Somebody could be domestically violent as well in a domestic violence situation here. Also, this person is not who you think they are, all right? Yeah, somebody just want their cake and eat it too. They're just not who you think they are. This person is just living a double life. It's like a big false mask on who you think they are. Okay? Yup. And they're trying to block your life from moving forward. And if you're dating any new people, they're trying to block that. Because they're mad. They're stuck in all these pregnancies. All these babies. Alright? This pregnancy test. Somebody could be having a baby. Now somebody else could be pregnant. It's like this person did not use any type of protection or anything. It's what divine is saying. Somebody just keep on getting stuck in this energy. And that's what's hidden is that this person has a double life. They have fetishes. They already got a family. And they can have somebody pregnant. Yeah, look at this. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Okay? This person can have multiple lovers all around. And that's why they keep switching up on you. Okay? What's this energy, Holy Spirit? What's some truth? Okay? Yeah, because you're the stable businesswoman. This who you are. They want somebody who's structured, who's stable. Why are they out here fucking everybody? All these lusty, succubus energies. All right? Somebody is really fucking nasty, man. All right? That's all I got to say. And, all right? Somebody spend a lot of time alone now. Somebody to be hiding from all these people they keep fucking. Because they're getting caught up. Look at this shit. When I said all these people, they keep fucking the succubus. Somebody could be hiding from this energy. Somebody know that somebody keep baiting them. Somebody could have even gave somebody a sexually transmitted disease here. Yeah. Somebody's hiding, doing shit in the dark. It could be the succubus energy person. Yeah. This person is a narcissist. You could have been dealing with a narcissist. They got what they put out there. Narcissism. They could have met a feminine narcissist or a male narcissist who was just like they ass, and they ignored the red flags on this person. I'm telling you, what goes around comes around. However somebody treated you, they definitely getting the same karma. The same shit. Yup. This single woman, this single women here who don't want to be committed. You know, they was acting like they want to be committed, but really they didn't. So now they could like women and act like they want them. But now the people they meet don't want to be committed neither. All right? You don't want to be committed. The people they meet don't want to be committed. This is what they put out there. No commitment. So God said, fine. You won't get one. Now they just pissed off. You know, they want somebody to be devoted to them. But what they put out there is what they now getting back. Don't nobody trust this person. They just meet a bunch of shady people. Just people they sleeping with. It's no commitment energy here. This is all like a lust and betrayal, deceit, game. Yeah, because this person is acting single. The vine said, this is what you want to be single, then this is what you get. <laughs> all this fucked up ass energy. Lying ass, deceitful people that they sleep with. Yup, and now they want your forgiveness. Because they realize that this ain't the life that they want anymore. Okay? This come from childhood wounds that they never healed that now became adulthood wounds. This is not who they really are. This is not what they wanted. And now it's like they facing fears of their lifestyle. They facing fears. Okay? Yeah, they dealing with money hungry people. 
you know, money hungry energies who are all about control and narcissism, just like they are. And then they, they now getting gaslighted. This is their karma. People in not their life. People don't want commitments with them, but act like they do. But yet they gave up the person who did want them. They gave up their love who did want everything with them for all of these people that's just in and out of their lives. Yeah, because this person is a tyrant, all right? And this person is a narcissist. And this is what Divine is saying. Inconsistent. This is how they treated the other people. Now they're dealing with people just like them. And they don't like it. All right? And now you don't even want to be bothered with them. The one consistent that they had in their life. Okay? This, this is all they're getting is unwanted opinions, people bitching. They can't even have a decent conversation. They don't trust these people. All of the negative energy. Look at Divine said. Divine said, look, they crazy. Okay? Divine said, all they're getting is people that's crazy. All right? People that's crazy. The next energy, yeah. And they're trying to escape this. Somebody could definitely be dealing with a stripper type of energy here. They're trying to escape this energy. But they brought all of this into their life. Divine said this is what they manifested. Now they got this stalker. Somebody who's ready to beat the shit out of them with a baseball bat. All right? Because they're trying to escape this energy. So y'all got to be careful here. Yeah, because Divine said all he did was make broken ass promises to people. And break people's hearts. And now all this shit is coming right back to them. Somebody could be in danger. Divine said they just make bad business deals. Break people's heart. Always scamming. Always lying. Gaslighting people. Everything they did is coming back to them. Somebody definitely signed a deal with the devil. Somebody is stuck in some toxic ass energy. And somebody is dealing with somebody that they know they can't trust. They know they can't trust this person. They just done went off and got into, yeah, because they know this person is a she-devil. They're dealing with somebody that they could possibly know is doing spell work on them. They are really caught up into some toxic energy. This person could have mother issues. Their mom could have been a narcissist. It's a personality disorder. Somebody don't know who they are. Somebody definitely struggling from mental health issues here. It's a really strong, toxic, dominant mother and energy. All right? Yup, and you out here manifesting your dreams. And that's what Divine is saying. Somebody is so stuck here in this toxic ass life in a karmic cycle. And you manifesting your dreams. And look at that. Somebody can have a sexually transmitted disease. Somebody can need to go to the doctor and have a pap smear. All right? Yeah. Somebody is bipolar. Just like I said, somebody don't know. What it is they want, they in and out. This is a mothering energy that could have put this off on her son. And that's why her son is like they are today, okay? It's a strong mother energy who did some fuck shit to her son, all right? It's a shady female here. This person just got the shadiest energy, all these shady people around them. Divine said this is their karma. Their karma is how they live in, what they put out there. Is what they getting back here. All right. All these shady people, this bipolar energy, they mama's facing karma, all these shady female females and males that they made business deals with. Everybody facing karma. It's bad luck here, broken promises, just power and control, tyrant, narcissist energy. Just all of this. And somebody's facing karma here. This is real toxic energy. All right, so y'all really need to be careful. And that's why Divine is trying to push you guys right on ahead because this is just stuck energy, all right? And Divine is saying, y'all dealing with somebody who is very stubborn. It could be a male or female that's very stubborn here and refuse to change. And they said, you're manifesting your hopes and your dreams and your true desires. And you just need to move forward and keep doing that because somebody is so stuck and they fuck shit, all right? And you just need to move on. All right, what's this energy? Yup, this is unemotional, unavailable. Avoid intimacy and emotional burdens. Yeah, somebody definitely could have an STD. All right, so what's this energy here? The STD, they said. Okay, and this says, yeah, this person just going to keep you waiting and waiting and waiting. 
because when they finish one shit, they go back and get into some more shit. Somebody's very dependent on energy and other people. They got a lot of regret going on here. It's a five of cups energy here. Feel guilty, remorseful, waiting to undo damage. This is what somebody wants to do because they know they left you waiting and held up your life. Didn't offer you anything real. All right. And this is, yeah, because somebody see you as their rock. You was their rock. You were somebody's emotional support, their stability, their security. All right. And this is all around. This is, what is this? All around them. Yeah, they got somebody all around them. They can't escape. Somebody don't plan on letting this person go. They stuck in a trap with somebody who just stuck with them. But they want to be single. They really want to be single. They act like they're single. They walk away from situations, but divine said they have kids. Yet they want to utilize their options and stuff. But they feel guilty because they have all these kids. All right? But their addiction outweigh anything else. Somebody is so sad and stuck in their addictions, all right? And they just got so many mixed feelings and emotions. It's like somebody don't know how to deal with their emotions. Somebody could have got these issues from a mother who never really showed them love and probably just abused them mentally, physically. However, somebody could have experienced a string of toxic-ass relationships that was unloving. And that's who they became today. They could have had toxic male role models, toxic female role models. Somebody was living a toxic, dysfunctional life. And all the things that happened in their childhood, even sexual abuse, could have taken effect upon a life today. You know, they could be an abuser. They could sexually abuse people. Somebody could be bisexual. They hiding it because this is what happened to them as a child. Somebody could be physically abusing other children because this is what happened to them. They don't know no better. And that's what divine says. Somebody refused to change or get help. But now this um, childhood wounds is seeping out and it's really going to get somebody in trouble. And that's what divine is saying. Instead of getting help about it and talking about it, somebody is afflicting the same pain that they experienced as a child onto other people in their adult life. Whether it's kids, men, women, adults, somebody is afflicting that same pain onto their adulthood life and is hurting and afflicting other people instead of even trying to get help. And now it's possibly has gone too far and somebody's suffering, going to suffer consequences due to their behaviors and their addictions. All right. Yep. And third parties. Somebody's just stuck in third party energy. Divine is telling y'all somebody just need to go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They just saying somebody just need to go that they cannot be in your life at this time. And that's what, and that's what, um, divine is saying. They just stuck in a negative energy. That's what's hidden with this person. They just got too many secrets, too many dark, too many dark secrets, too much dark energy. All right. And this is, they done ran out of time trying to fix their life. It's like, how long will it take you to stop doing the same fuck shit? That's what divine want to know here. And it's like, um, this is like a love bomber. Somebody emotionally manipulate people. They're Casanova. They're a ladies' man, a uh, um, woman's man. You know, and this is waiting for attention. You know, it's like somebody just love attention. You know, and this is male or feminine energy that have suffered this as a child. All right, I feel like it's both. It's separation here. They broken hearted because of separations. They want to come in and love bomb you. But all they do is make broken ass promises because they don't know how to love. This relationship with these people, they start off wonderful because they love bombing you. But then eventually their addictions take over and the real them come out. And that's when all of the shit hit the fan because you thinking it's just little mishaps in your relationships. But you're dealing with someone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But you're dealing with someone who is definitely emotionally wounded. All right, emotionally wounded, and these are like long term wounds, childhood wounds, relationship wounds. 
abuse wounds. Yeah, divine said someone who's stuck in a karmic cycle. They just stuck in a karmic cycle and they don't get no help on it and they just keep running away. They just stuck in this and they just keep on running away. It's like they don't know how to help themselves here. All right. But they always want to reconcile with you or come back to you and try to fix this. All right. But divine said, y'all opposites. You fix your wounds. You heal your wounds. You talk to God. You ask for guidance. You ask for, you know, strength. And somebody else here just don't. All right. And something is brewing with this person. And it's possibly a tower moment. And that's what Divine is saying here. Whatever they got going on in their life that they refuse to fix or refuse to learn these lessons. It's like something is coming to an end here. Something has got to give. And that's what Divine is saying. Because somebody is withholding a lot of secrets. A lot of secrets that could really get them in trouble. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. All right. And this is some stuff that could be hidden and why somebody continues to juggle. Okay. They don't have any intentions on settling down. All right. They really miss you a whole hell of a lot here. But all they're doing is pretending. All right. They know this love is dying. Okay. They know it's dying and they refuse to learn any lessons. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. If you want your own personal reading, please give me a shout at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. All right, I'll be back with some this week's energy for you guys. Okay, have a beautiful night. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.